Brandon asked a question. I'm trying to figure out a way to do multiple views within Microsoft Teams. We've we've, we've addressed views in Teams before, but let's let's see what else he's if there's anything new here. I want to have a folder icon at the top of a page and then right under it an active list that corresponds with that folder. I know on SharePoint I could do different layouts on the page where I could combine different areas on one page. Does anyone know if I could do this stuff with Microsoft Teams? Someone might know. Uh, Joy, Joy <laughs> might know. I think Joy might know. Well, the word he's using is very important here, page. Yeah. Hmm. Right? You can absolutely add a tab to whichever channel it makes the most sense or multiple channels to a SharePoint page and you can have a folder, you can have documents, you can configure that page just like you used to in days of old and have that available for use there inside of your site. Now the files tab itself, I would just say leave, leave that alone, but create a page and configure that page to have the views and the information and the content that you need or want to enable you kind of in the flow of your work to have access to all that stuff. And just to clarify, to add that page to the Teams tab, they have they yes. don't use the SharePoint tab. They use the website pink because um, you can expose any browser page and right. everything mm -hmm. in Office 365 is browser based. So do, do you know what I just had a thought here, too, is like where the direction that we're going is uh, with loop components. It, we're mm -hmm. almost going to get like we don't know what it'll look like exactly, but even the ability to create a tab in Teams. So I'm talking future state people, uh, like where where some of this is going, but you'll get like a almost like a canvas, a like a whiteboard, a workspace, and you can drop loop components and other things in there and build exactly. So there'll be dynamic, intelligent, real time pulling information, and you can even just drag and drop and create a dashboard or page of each of those components on it. So that's something like that is coming. I don't know time frame of what's happening with loop. But I've been talking about it for a long yep. time, but <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The, the thing I like that Joy said is that you could bring information into your team that best represents your flow of work. Um, I really like that statement because it's so tempting for users just to start adding tabs to everything in their team and they overwhelm the tab experience where you're not getting just the right information. So right. just because you can tab something doesn't mean you should. But having that that information Hashtag brought tabbed you out. out. I'm tabbed out, man. Tabbed Which, out indeed. Well, and I truly <laughs> believe the SharePoint pages are completely underused. Do you expect people to navigate through the contents of a SharePoint site instead of creating views of the lists and the libraries and putting those views on a page that are related to each other so that you've got related content from different places on one space, kind of like Teams does. But again, to his point, we can't do it on a page. So we have to um, we have to build the SharePoint page and then put it on the tab. But that's almost like my... creating. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. The, the, I was going to say it's like creating a dashboard. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Here's exactly. here's for the flow of work, like you said, you know, this, this is everything I need to know for my upcoming events. So you filter it by the, you know, the metadata on those lists or libraries by things that are happening in the future. Perfect, right? Then you don't have all the old stuff sitting there, work in progress. Maybe it's the status of a, a document that you're mm. working in, you know? It, it can be any of any or all of those things, so. You know, it would always be cool though, for, for some of this is be able to, I don't know, group tabs, almost like in Excel where you could take and stretch like a, a title across and say, these three tabs have to do with this topic. That would be mm -hmm. kind of cool, like a little menu, yeah, even yeah. one level of menu and tabs, Microsoft. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> like kind of like idea. OneNote section groups. Yeah. People don't know yeah. about the section groups. So but have know. it across the top. So I, so you might have and say like, hey, this is my, you know, uh, you know, customer reporting, and then have each view as tabs within yeah. that. Well, Christian, if only there were a group that you could interact with. For I the know. products. <laughs> and I, if only Microsoft would listen to feedback from MVPs in the community. Yeah. No, they do. They do. We're all joking, but yes, they do. We are right. joking. So there's a bunch of places to go and submit that idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the record, I don't agree with anything that Christian Buckley said in the last 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
Make yourself we'll make sure a little shame. He's we'll going make sure rogue. that goes in the transcript. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, I'll edit all of that in post production, and Norm will have glowing reviews for everything that I say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> The video might be a little disjointed because it won't match what he said, but you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's say it. Yes. Voice let's over. Say it. <laughs> That's awesome. Only pay for what you need. Yeah.